So I grew up in the family business. We had one store and it was in downtown Seattle. And we used to go down on Sundays with my father. He'd work every other Sunday. He'd alternate with his brother, Herb. It was a big part of my childhood. And I, I learned that I, I loved the business. I always wanted to go into it ever since I gave up my dream of wanting to be a dump truck driver. When I started uh, college, I went to work in our, our South Center store. And so I came in the last uh, several weeks before Christmas, and I worked every day. And I wasn't used to being on my feet because I'd been going to school. So I come home, I get something to eat, my feet would swell up, I'd soak them in Epsom salts while I was having dinner. And then, I, then I'd go to bed and, and prop my feet up on a pillow and, and get the swelling down so I could go back the next day and do it again. Uh, but, but, I, but I loved it. I loved working with him. He was, he was delight and we ate lunch together and a lot of fun together, father and son. I couldn't ask more out of him, except he didn't like fishing. That's the only thing I could knock him on. My <laughs> only complaint. Dad was always supportive uh, of me, and, and he always said, you know, I won't put you in a position where you could wreck the business. Go and make mistakes, it's all right. You have got to have faith when you turn it over and teach them everything you know and hope that they learn a lot more that you didn't know. I've been very successful there. I've been very happy with what I did. In business, a lot of people say you need to have one person in charge and the captain of the ship type of thing. And that hasn't been always our experience. We've, we, for the last two generations, we've had partners. My father and uncle were, were partners for 30 years. They were the, the co-CEOs and, and John and I, uh, likewise. We were clearly partners in every sense of the word and we have a great deal of respect for one another. And I can say that um, it's a true brotherly bond. In all the years that we worked together, we never had any serious disagreements that I'd walk home and wouldn't sleep over. Or anything. We, got along, we got along very well, very, very lucky like that. What I would really want to say is how proud I am of um, the relationship that Ed and I have been able to build and how proud I am of what he's been able to accomplish for the jewelry industry as a whole. When I was in the Boy Scouts, they, they always told us we went on a hike. We had to leave the campsites and the hiking place a little bit better the way we found it. I think that's something that my father and uncle ingrained in both of us is trying to leave the world a little bit better uh, than we found it. And that means in giving back to the community and that means in being part of the lives of our associates and, and our customers. We've had a history in our business of turning over the business at a relatively young age. And I think that's been one of the keys to our success. Now, uh, Pam's my daughter, Lisa, is the CEO and president of the company. And she's already doing wonderful things. I do like with Lisa. Quarterly. We have about eight associates, or eight of us total. And we have lunch and so that they can get to know one another. Um, and then we can also talk about the business and talk about what's working and what isn't and what ideas they have. And, and people know that I want to hear their opinion and their perspective, that that's what the lunch is, is about. Well, the best thing you say is that they feel <clears throat> valued. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of anything more important than people feel, feeling valued. The urge for adornment, to mark special moments, to tell someone you love them, that is innate to humankind. What people buy, where they buy it, how they buy it, all those things can change. So it's up to us as an industry to make sure that we stay relevant with that consumer, that we, we give them product that, that inspires them that we give it to in a way that they like to receive it, um, that we make it special and we add value to it. Uh, that, that's the key and that is a challenge. I'm excited for the next chapter. I've been very fortunate in so many ways. Most importantly, I've been fortunate with uh, Pam, my, my wife of 40 years, that I've been able to share all this adventure with. So I'm excited to spend more time with her. I don't have any regrets. I don't believe in looking back. You know, I've learned a lot from my father. Uh, one of his sayings was, uh, you make a decision, you make a right, and you move forward and you don't look back. So no regrets, no looking back, only looking forward.